Yeah, I was looking. I was looking on the Instagram and, uh, man, I can't remember who it was. I don't know if it was Gabe or it was Tony, but one of my boys um, was playing with this knife and uh, on my feed and I'm going, see, and I'd seen it before. Okay, I had seen the Fairchild on here. It's combo design, et cetera, et cetera. But S35VN. But I didn't realize how big it was. And he made some comment in his little, you know, description thing. Like, wow, it's big. Uh, and then I go, oh, shit. I got to get it. And I do. I like the design. This is, this is interesting, isn't it? Just, just draw an arc. I think that's how they design cars now. It's just, you know, that's it. They're all jelly beans. But this one, this, and then fill in the blanks, right? And uh, do some interesting stuff. Look at this. You crawl up on this blade, but look at the handle. Look at how big that dog is. Still plenty of room. And not counting if you jump up. You jump up here. Holy moly, you know, that is a bunch of room. Oh, I got a little piece of paper rolling here. Well, just tear it off, why don't you? And try this. Okay. Um, Decent, decent sharpness. Okay, it passes for factory sharp, but not scary sharp. Okay, so this is where, you know, popping it on the strop and hitting it with maybe, you know, S35, maybe some, what, 6,000 grit, something like that, diamond paste impregnated on the strop, you know, might, might uh, give her that extra boost. Um, but, yes. Uh, it's, it's a cool looking knife. There's, that's for sure. And it's probably not the lightweight champ, is it? Ooh, there you go. Ooh, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? She drops, she drops. That's for sure. Is that over the, yeah, that's over the detent ball. So that's pretty quick over the detent ball and just drops from there. So pretty fidget friendly. Ooh, 173 grams. Yeah, not the lightweight champ. Not the lightweight champ. 6.1. 6.1 ounces. What else do I have around here that's like 6.1 ounces? There you go. 6.3. The Vandal. So you want to get vandalized? Hold on. Let me see what this is like. Yeah, I think the Vandal's actually bigger but i think the vandal's like nine and a quarter it's 23 and a half centimeters i think i don't know what this one is let's let's find out that's fan yeah i don't know but it's oh it's four you know it's four at least four inches at about 103 millimeters but maybe 4.1, arguably overall nine, and just maybe a sixteenth at 23. 23 centimeters. Hold on. Get vandalized. Let me see. I think this is 23 and a half centimeters. Um, wow, that's a longer blade. That's a little bit longer blade. And yeah, that's nine and a quarter. So it's 23 and a half centimeters. Okay, so this is bigger. Vandal button lock M390. This one, S35VN titanium. This one, 322 bucks. Chuck. And, you know, you can get them. Uh, oh, hold on. Here's your 9.1, 3.97 inch blade. Yeah, they want to make it. They always want to do that under four inch, don't they? Kind of dance on you. 6.3 ounces, blah, 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 dark beat. And then 
so you can get it in that bronze, black, gray, and then they call this gold. Strange, huh? Okay. But it's Fairchild. And there goes my KPL lid. Boom! Yeah. Um, nice and easy to finger flick, that's for sure. And check out that jimping here. Yeah, it, it's effective, that's for sure. That's a big old flat grind, isn't it? Piercing, slicing. Um, you know, this fits me, but not that it's going to fit everybody. But it just so happens that it fits me, so I'm okay with that. Reverse grip is not too shabby. Um, and, oh, well, you know what? That begs the idea of, come here, how full in the hand is that? 0.55. I'm surprised it's not fatter than that at 14 millimeters. What do we got? Ooh, no way. That can't be right. I guess that is right. That's 4.8 millimeter? 0.19? I didn't realize the blade material was that heavy. It is, isn't it? 0 0.19, 4. almost 5 millimeter blade thickness. Hoss. There's your lockup, 25, could we argue 30, at least 25%. Hardened steel insert, over travel stop in there. I'm sure there's ceramic bearings in there. I'll tell you what, I met Combo at the Atlanta Blade Show 2022. And then, of course, then they were talking about this one, the Bawaya. Right, and that's uh, the Filipino uh, word for freshwater crocodile. So I got this one, and they ain't giving them away, that's for sure. And here's this. Hold on, what does it say here? Oh, just that and best tech. Okay, it's got his his logo. This is cool. Not as big. By a long shot. But Fairchild, that's a hoss. This one's lighter. Interesting design, though. He keeps them rolling, doesn't he? Keeps them rolling. This one, uh, I like, too. I'm going to do a separate video on this. And when I do, I'm going to get behind why this doesn't drop a little bit better. I think. I think she's wound up a little tight. Hold on. Let me try this anyhow. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know that that's going to make it better. No, it didn't. Well, we'll get into this later. But yeah, he's uh, keeping them rich with good designs and really interesting uh, knives, I think. So this would be interesting if they did this in a G10, wouldn't it? Mike Carter or something like that. Look at that backspacer. Kind of just free-forming that baby across there. I mean, without that, it would look funky, wouldn't it? But how that span goes across there, um, you think you could run a... Hold on. Yeah, I guess so. You could run a lanyard. Yeah, that doesn't even... Uh, that doesn't go there yet. So you could run a lanyard through there of all kinds. And then the pocket clip obviously attaches from inside. And the pocket clip kind of follows this nice design cue. And it's got these cutaway things like this. Okay. So, wow. Um, you know, one, two, three. Doing that on this side, one, two, three. And then this kind of follows with that as well. So, it all folds together nicely. And the design flow is great. Kind of a just a big old oval, isn't it? Nice. Bam. Ooh, that's impressive. That's impressive. 
um, and climb clear up there, which really fits well. So if you're going to get up and on it, that's not a bad approach there. Where's my, where's my balance on this? It's pretty far forward, actually, on this. But yeah. Ooh, she's big. She's a good-sized girl. And uh, no lightweight champ, that's for sure. And you get it in this box. And it, this is kind of a hard shell box. Here's this Fairchild here. BT2202B. Okay. Inside, of course, there's your zipper pouch, etc. And then you got some stickers. Okay. One, two, three, and a uh, microfiber cloth. Not too shabby. Um, I got mine, obviously, from uh, White Mountain Knives. And yeah, they're not giving them away. 322 but that's $32 off, so that does knock you down into the twos, okay? So check that out if it's something that seems attractive to you. I just had to get my hands on it. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. It's almost any of his designs I feel are pertinent enough to explore on this channel. So I... I, you know, unless it's just a, a, a design, I'd just say no. And there are some best tech designs I just, nah, don't even want to bother with. But this definitely, and most of his designs absolutely do want to get involved with. But look at how this, this fuller type action here rolls and continues on the blade. Just way cool. Well, let's see if we can pull this hoss apart. And is that number eight? Yeah, I guess it is. It's going to be enough. Ooh, baby. Whew. Yeah. I didn't know, but what I was going to have to get a little ugly with this thing. Yeah, it got something in there. I don't know what grade that was, but it was enough. Plenty enough and squared off on the pivot. So who's going to have to let loose or do something ugly? Um, okay, let's see how this is going to go because. Whew, yeah, you got that one stuck down too. Um, you know, it's almost worth busting them loose because I don't need them that tight. Or I don't need them that locked down. Okay, now maybe on this, I don't know, but what, maybe this screw goes all the way through. Or maybe the screw comes from the inside and it's separate. Let me see. Yeah, there you go. It goes all the way through. Okay. 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 So I was going to have to take that regardless. Um, <clears throat> so then it should be unscrewed enough to come off of there right okay okay and it, it is it is unscrewed enough to come off of there let's see what do we got we got a washer we got bearings we got a blade stop and i heard something do something oh it might have been this and that's yeah, that that if it's squared off, let me see what else we got. It's it's relatively clean. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we got lock bar side. Bingo. And there's that. And we got a pivot surround somewhere. Maybe that's what I threw aside all right pull it apart violently enough and there goes the uh, surround yikes uh thank god i don't have 1969 shag carpeting in here <laughs> for a lot of different reasons okay let's pull this out let's see what we got okay so we got a squared off pivot there's the surround on this side which did not take a leave of 
uh, leave on me. And okay, we got a. Um, and where's my. Where did my. Uh, oh, there, there's my uh, magnet. Been looking for you, buddy. Okay, yeah. Okay, there's the magnet. There's that. Okay. So, all kinds of good things coming out here. Looks pretty clean. Light lube, this and that. And this comes across, obviously, and fits in. Okay, there's the squared off back and through here. All right. I mean, we've got all kinds of weight relieving, even kind of through the backside here. You would think that would be enough, right? But they extended through here and like on this side as well. And then huge old uh, hardened steel insert with over travel stop, ceramic detent ball, and all kinds of craziness, right? And look at where that screw comes all the way up into here, but yet another screw. So if you really want to undo it, you're going to have to take the screw out from the front side, the big old long john up here. And then when you get it apart, then you got to take this too to take that pocket clip off. But the pocket clip's interesting in the way it just covers that whole tail section. But I don't find that to be too obtuse or, you know, obnoxious or anything. I think it flows pretty nicely with the design. Interesting that he did that. Okay. Okay, we got our surround. We got this. This is going to go back. Okay, so we this is correct. And that'll be about right for the logo on the best tech thing. Oh, we got to put washer down. Then we got to put bearings down. Nothing outstanding crazy on the bearings, but they're pretty solid. And they're not real flimsy, so they, they seem okay. And then let's put the blade down. And, oh, Where's my stop? Oh, it's over here. It's already on. Okay, never mind. And then um, let's uh, put these. And then I guess we can just lay that washer on top of these two and let it be like that. Now, to get that lined up, let's hope that we are with that squared off part on the pivot. And yeah, that'll meet. Okay. That'll meet. And uh, put this. And put the... Okay. Give me my number eight. Whew. That was... They put some... Put some crazy bust ass in there, didn't they? To get that locked down. Okay. Now... Well, obviously this, which is a forever screw, keeps going and going. And, okay, that'll work. Okay, and then this one on the body on this side. And, that'll stay. And, look this one through. Okay. So we should be, but we're not completely squared up yet. So what more do we need to do to you? Let's see. Okay, now we've got it lined up. Now let's see if I, did I have to overdo the tightness? No, but there's no play. But no, she drops good. Okay. You know, it's pretty guillotine-ish, which you may or may not like, so you may want to put a little bit more oomph on that. I don't like to put too much pressure on those bearings. Okay, we're good. The Fairchild. It's, it's pretty fair. <laughs> 
it is pretty fair. It's a big dog, relatively heavy, pretty thick blade stock. It doesn't look it like this because of this bevel here on both sides. But you check it out here, you check it out down there. That's some heavy old blade stock on there. But so yeah, it's it's a good size knife. I'm glad they weren't too intimidated to do it. I think it's nice. Every once in a while, break out, get you a monster in the house, okay? So I'm going to leave you to it. Love them knives. That's who we are. Sub to my channel. And you guys, stay sharp.